Hi ladies, Sherry here from the Fox Kevin Crew. How's it going? So this is a Divine Feminine reading for August. I just gotta see what that card was. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, so positive movement forward, working hard. Um, so uh, Divine Feminine reading for August the 15th until the 22nd. So um, that also includes a solar eclipse on the 21st. So we're coming into some pretty crazy energy coming up. Um, the uh, Lionsgate was really strong for me, for sure, in terms of transformative energy. Um, I really felt a shift, um, a release, a let go, and um, a focus more on myself. Um, so yeah, if you guys felt a shift, let me know. I you know, a week before that, I was getting some pretty bad headaches. And so that has to go with, uh, go along with, you know, um, a shift in energy and consciousness. All right, so I'm using my deck for confirmation, the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart uh, for the main energy. So I'm going to pull the cards first and then... Um, and then I'll go through the position. So I'm going to do a Celtic wing. So present, foundation, past, what you hope for and likely to get, crossroads, resisting, internal, outcome, external, summary, final, and the bottom of the deck. All right, so beginning with present position. Take the lead. So you, you know, this is the divine masculine energy. Um, you know, it is an outward exertion of your energy. It's power, it's strength, um, leadership, taking control, making decisions. So your present moment, either you're thinking about the divine masculine you know, how powerful he is, how amazing he is, and you're projecting that energy out into, you know, um, you know, the field, or you are feeling strong and powerful yourself. Your masculine qualities are really shining forth. Um, yeah, so let's see what the confirmation cards are. Judgment, the Queen of Pentacles, and the three of wands so past position is judgment card the masculine also got the judgment card in the past position so there was this illumination this rebirth this awakening um you had an epiphany or you you know had this moment of clarity that shifted your perspective and so uh on a major scale it you know there was a rebirth this judgment that nah, judgment card also means that you needed to make a decision you made a judgment or judgment was made on you but i really feel that you had this moment of clarity you made a decision um and so it ultimately made you feel very grounded and successful the queen of pentacles now the king and queen of pentacles both showed up in the divine masculine reading so there's this feeling of the 3D reality that's really important. Um, this is fire, Aries, whereas this is earth, 3D. Uh, so this could represent that the feminine is feeling independent, um, accomplished, grounded. Uh, she has a lot of material abundance flowing into her life and it, it's because of this awareness or awakening that happened in the past and you know it um she's manifesting she has the ability to manifest and she shares her seeds and her wealth with others so there's this openness to this card um, i'm not sure if i mentioned that this is an earth sign um so I might have to pull an Osho Zen card for that. Okay, so the Three of Wands is in the future position. This represents being on the right path, seeing success, and it has to do with your soul purpose, soul mission. So you are on this path of enlightenment. You are using your 
gifts, your talents to bring prosperity into your life or manifestation into your reality. Sorry, I got paint on my hands. Um, and, but, and you're taking the lead or you feel like the leader. So let me just pull one card from the ocean Zen there. Spirit, what do you mean by the Emperor card? Slowing down. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So again, with the 3D reality, um, this is the slowest moving night. You know, he takes his time, but he always arrives at his destination. However, the Osho description is a little bit different. Okay, so let me read that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Why can't I find it? Oh my god, it's crazy. There it is, okay. Alright. Uh, the Knight of Rainbow is a reminder that, just like this tortoise, we carry our home with us wherever we go. There is no need to hurry, no need to seek shelter elsewhere. Even as we move into the depth of our emotional waters, we can remain self-contained and free from attachments. Very nice. So you're free from attachments. You are dealing with your emotions and, you know, in a very grounded way. Um, and, you know, the emperor is also one who does not allow their emotions to control them. It's a very steady, steady grounded forward movement. It's a taking action as well. Um, so it is time when you're ready to let go of any expectations you have had about yourself or other people and to take responsibility for any illusions you might have been carrying. Um, there is no need to do anything but rest in the fullness of who you are right now. If desires and hopes and dreams are fading away, so much the better. They're disappearing Disappearance is making space for a new quality of stillness and acceptance of what is, and you are able to welcome this development in a way you have never been able to do before. Savor the quality of slowing down, of coming to rest, and recognizing that you are already at home. Wow. Um, so watch the Divine Masculine reading, because the Divine Feminine um, showed up with this energy in his external environment. Uh, she had the hermit card that was with the magician, but it, it spoke of this being at home, not needing to go anywhere, not needing to do anything. Um, but there is this sense of understanding your place in the, the universe. So it was a detachment, but the t detachment came from this space of, you know, not needing the masculine, not needing to reach out, not needing um, anything from him. It's like this full detachment. That's what I was feeling. So again, that message is repeating itself. Okay, so for the foundation, take the lead, three of wands. Um, so lead and take the lead. And it's really neat because there was a synchronicity like this in the masculine. He got heal and be, you know healing beginning so it's like this transition this movement from releasing or no you know the feminine took the lead and now she is the leader so it's like you know it's a movement into strength and he's moving into healing while the feminine is moving into power her own power her own um you know, masculine power is coming through. So, take the lead, three of wands. This also repre represents, um, you know, going on that spiritual journey and um, 
you know, making a decision to go on that journey and starting to see the fruits of your labor. I just realized, you know, you got the Three of Wands in the future as well. So there's a sense of you continuing to be that leader, take control. So the solar plexus chakra, wow. So that's courage and strength. The Six of Wands, wow. And wow, the Four of Wands. Look at all that fire. These are all fire cards. So past position, solar plexus, you came into your power, your strength, your courage, you found your courage, you took the lead, you reached out, you made decisions, you raised your vibration, um, and you stood in the light. The, this is the rock star card. Um, this is so much success, you know, um, and that really goes along with that Grand Awakening card, and it's it's show it's it's bringing abundance into your life. You know, right now, um, you're really feeling all this power welling up beneath you. So continue going. You're on the right path, um, and you know again, there's no sense of rush. There is. You're just like in this. Um, state of knowing uh, what you know what I mean you're fulfilling your higher calling your true purpose um, which ultimately will lead you towards the masculine but people are cheering you on okay the four of wands future position now normally the four of wands represents uh, it's a calling card for twin flames but in my deck I use the 1111 calling card okay so this retains its original meaning of you know, this twin flame connection is coming or has come in the future or will come in the future or has come in the past as a foundation. You have this connection. And so this could mean engagement, marriage, uh, but it's like twins uniting in the 3D, fulfilling their sole purpose, more or less. That's why I use it as a calling card and also because the four wands 1111. So this ignition, this flare, this explosion of power and encouragement and cheering and excitement is driving you forward and it's sending you right into the path of this you know twin flame connection so in your past position five of pentacles feeling alone so you know this is a feeling of being left out in the cold it's disconnected so you know, really this fire is driving you forward, but there's, you know, the sense of disconnect kind of in the back of your mind. Um, this could represent a financial loss as well, but disconnected. The Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Strength card. So past position, Ace of Wands. The masculine got the Ace of Wands twice in his readings, and it also showed up in the past. So there was a spark, this inspiration, this go like go time, and it, it, you know, a Kundalini awakening as well. And you can really see that activation for sure. Okay, so there was this moment of clarity, epiphany and a realization of a new life. So there was that go light, okay? And it could have involved a air sign. Uh, this is a king of swords, um, but it really kind of represents maybe the masculine communicating with you, um, speaking his truth, having this clarity, you know, being unattached emotionally so that you can speak your truth, um, you know, not being manipulated by the your uh, his emotions and you can see that in his reading as well so there was this inspiration this start this go light and it brought in this masculine energy who like i said either spoke his truth or um this could also be you having mental clarity embodying that masculine energy like you are in the present moment um, but it's taking action, um, cutting away barriers. Um, yeah, and then the future position is the strength card. Uh, so this is using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with the situations. So there was, 
possibly a disconnect with an air sign or an air sign um, you know came into your life or you know and possibly is asked, asked you to um, make some decisions uh, and it's like you're looking at what you've already achieved and acquired and you're not sure if you can make any sacrifices or you're, you're afraid of hurting someone. I'm almost looking at that light, you know, this person is looking at this house knowing that they need to get to that place. Either they feel disconnected and they want to go home or there is, you know, some kind of conversation or something needs to be discussed. Do you know what I mean? The strength card means you need to transmute the environment into a loving space, okay? And so um, it's like you're trying to find strength to deal with this disconnected energy in the future. I don't know. Boy, you ladies are always so complicated. I'm going to pull an Osho Zen for that one as well. You know, it could just be the masculine speaking is true. And because of that it could have caused you to feel disconnected from him it may have been cold words hurtful words but instead of reacting you came you approached it with a loving heart um, or this truth made you stronger in a very humble way seven of swords so that was for that whole cluster, I think. Politics, Seven of Swords. Somebody being two-faced, not knowing if you can trust them, not knowing if what they're saying is the truth or if they're hiding things, betraying you. Um, but everyone wears two faces. Okay. Anybody who can be, <coughs> sorry, anybody who can be a, a good pretender, a hypocrite, will become your leader politically, will become your priest religiously. All that he needs is hypocrisy. hypocrisy. All that he needs is cunningness. All that he needs is a facade to hide behind. Your, politician, your politicians live double lives. Your priests live double lives. One from the front door and the other from the back door. And the back door life is their real life. Just one moment. Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, and the back door life is their real life. Those front door smiles are just false. Those faces looking so innocent are just cultivated. If you want to see the reality of the politician, you will have to see him from the back door. There he is in his nudity, as he is, and so is the priest. These two kinds of cunning people have dominated humanity. And they have found out very early on that if you want to dominate humanity, make it weak, make it feel guilty, make it feel unworthy, destroy its dignity, take all glory away from it, humiliate it. And they have found such subtle ways of humiliation that they don't come in the picture at all. They leave it to you to humiliate yourself, to destroy yourself. They have taught you a kind of slow suicide. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like some kind of communication happened that made you feel humble and made you realize your strengths, your weaknesses, and it created a, a detachment on some level. It's like that feeling of loneliness. It's like you, you made a realization about your your own, your, about yourself, you know, I don't know. Okay, so um, your hope and likely to get the six of wands again, believe and succeed, so the rock star card again. Um, so you're on the right path again with this sense of fulfilling your self purpose and that could just be living in your truth. The eight of wands, the lover's card and the tower. So the masculine also also got the tower in his reading. Um, the eight of wands past position could represent communication. Again, sense of communication occurred. Um, this is accelerated motion. This is manifestation. 
uh, the present moment is a lover's card so you desire this passion this connection in your life this is a longing but it's a passion ignited between two people who are deeply in love future position again the tower a sudden change disruption it tears down your old reality to make room for a new but really it comes in like a bolt of lightning and it and it's it could just be a realization, you know, this sudden change uh, is coming and it has to do with those seeds of intention that you set out into, you know, the universe. Believe and you will succeed. Okay, so crossroads position is two of wands, spread your wings. So this energy was... Um, pretty dominant in last week's reading for the feminine it's like opening yourself waiting to embrace so the two of wands is making a decision in the past to embark on this spiritual journey which you are on no doubt okay so you're seeing the success the rewards for it there's that chariot again oh my god the three of swords again and the two of swords very interesting the you know when I shuffle the deck I always put the cards in separate positions that's part of how I shuffle okay I'll, I'll always make sure that I'm not going to get the same sequence of cards and so these two cards showed up in the masculine reading in its external environment there was this movement forward the chariot um, to doing things that make you happy okay doing things that make you you feel happy you not anybody else right overcoming obstacles challenges really taking control of your life so that movement really opened the door for you three of swords present moment in the crossroads position this card um, i pulled a clarifier for it, which was the magician that came in with that same energy of you know realizing your existence knowing that you are already at home that there's nothing out there that you need so it was a turn to to yourself you know what i mean not allowing this heartbreak to rule you anymore um you know not you know that there's a sense of disconnect in the past that occurred and so this is really realizing that your emotions can't control you um, that you are doing things that are making you happy okay and so your focus has turned to yourself the two of swords future position this represents a decision being made so again there's a sense of a path opening up whoa, before you so there's a path opening up before you Okay, so there it is, crossroads position. So uh, there's a feeling that some of you ha haven't fully taken that step into your true authentic life. You've been planning for it. There may be movement forward, like you're starting to see manifestation, but really spiritually you are resisting something. Um, so I'm saying that because in the future position is a two of swords, so you, there's a, like a stop sign or an intersection, um, that you will come up against. So that could be the tower, but ultimately it's all going to work out. Okay. So it's, it's like you're saying, I'm not going to let this indecision because it is a masculine energy. I'm not going to let this indecision, uh, affect me anymore. And you know, focus on my own path. Do you know what I mean? There's a single path here, which is the main card, feminine energy walking her own path, and then a masculine in the future with these two paths, this this indecisiveness. It's like a release. It's like, ah, do you know what I mean? It's like um, letting go of those painful thoughts that are ultimately hurting your heart. Okay, so what are you resisting? Wow, the sacral chakra. The masculine got this card in the exact same position. And so for him, um, I read it as him not being emotionally um, manipulated. 
So the sacral chakra is where your emotions are stored and it's a lower level chakra. So you are doing the same. You're resisting being emotionally manipulated. Okay, and that's exactly that realization that I was trying to point to. So don't allow your emotions to control you. Six of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. I think this card showed up in the mask on reading in the same position. Yes, it did, in the same position. Wow. And the Sacral Chakra again. So past position, Six of Pentacles. This is giving and receiving and sharing your resources, your abundance. Even if you don't have a lot of money, you're, you know, you're sending these seeds out into the world. And that's, you know, what the Queen of Pentacles does as well. So the past position, um, you're sharing your energy. Um, and so this is the cohabitation card. So this could mean you're sharing your life um, with the masculine in the 3D, or, you know, working towards manifesting something or I don't know. So this energy of gratitude is, is, you know, coming back to you in a good way. It, you're feeling successful because you are so generous. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. Um, it also represents spiritual strength. Um, but this is somebody who's been through battle countless times and they've learned from their mistakes. And that's really what I felt with the masculine as well. He's got wounds, he's got scars, but he's not allowing emotional situations to drain him. He's strong, he's powerful, so are you. There's this, you know, awareness um, here as well. Do you know what I mean? There's this awareness of how these lower vibrations can really stop you. Um, so again, the sacral chakra, same card, future position. Uh, it's you're in, going to continue to resist, you know, emotional um, situations. And like I was saying at the end of the masculine reading, um, you know, I really enjoy your your shares, your likes, your comments, and stuff like that. Um, I really use it as a gauge to determine. Um, my audience's level of consciousness. So, for example, my last video, uh, there was 10 dislikes and something like 250 likes. So, when I when I see that level of likes, it's like you know this is a raised consciousness. These are people who are living from the heart, who feel gratitude, who are who send this loving vibration out into the world, and I feel that love. Um, so, you know, and in terms of the dislikes, um, this is, you know, these are people living from the ego. These are people who are in the space of judgment. So when you are judging somebody, then, you know, you are actually reflecting that energy back at yourself. So whatever you don't like in somebody, you know, obviously I triggered some people with the last reading. So whatever it is that was triggered in you know, what I said or whatever, um, is a reflection of yourself. I don't attach myself to that energy because I know it's not me. There's nothing I did, um, you know, to cause somebody to lash out at me. It, it's an internal struggle that's coming from yourself. So, you know, if you were one of those people that disliked the video, then really ask yourself, what is it about this video that bothered me so much? You know, and then turn that in, you know, transmute that into a loving energy. Um, love that part of yourself. Do you know what I mean? It, like, it's like, if you look at somebody and you go, oh, well, she's this, she's that. It's like, well, that's the, those are aspects that you don't like about yourself. So love those aspects. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, it's, it's a self-love here, not being manipulated by emotions and, you know, fearing that your heart is gonna be broken or even indecision. It's a complete let go is what I'm seeing. Okay, so your in internal environment, he's the wands, wow, the masculine got this card too. And it was in his, what he hopes for and likely to get. So you both got the ace of wands, you know, um, 
in your present moment, this spark, and in the past. It's like this spark really lit the two of you up. Um, and I was just noticing, look at all the wand here, right? Um, this is fire energy, wand, which is spirituality, okay? So wand, 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 and also this Aries fire energy there. There's just one pentacle so far. So, wow, you know, a lot of power. So internally, you feel this kundalini awakening. This is the golden thread that connects your soul, your crown chakra, to source and to your twin, to the collective. So you have this inspiration, and you feel it driving you forward and willing you forward. Um, and so, yeah, it's like, take that step, right? So we got to transition here, or... You know, here internally, you have that wand in your hand. You're ready for this new beginning, this new start. The Ace of Wands is starting from zero, and it's embarking on a spiritual journey, which you have decided to do. However, there is a sense that you really need to embrace it. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, anyway. So the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and the 1111 card. Very interesting. Um, this card showed up uh, in the past position for the final outcome for the masculine, and this was in his present moment for the final outcome. So these cards, again, there's a sense that these cards are um, syncing up. You know what I mean? There's a, a balance and a harmony occurring between both aspects. Okay, so past position, ten of wands. Uh, the masculine got a couple of tens in his past position as well. So this is an ending, completion, feeling exhausted. You've been carrying all the burdens. So you put down those wands, you know, and the crowd cheered, right? You walked out of this darkened state into this power, this strength. And internally you feel like the knight of wands. So imagine ten wands on fire with the ten back here. It is the an explosion and this is the phoenix rising out of the ashes. So again, a lot of fire and passion. You are going forward you, um, you know, this is gasoline being poured on the fire, so it's forward movement. You are going after this spiritual, whatever, vision that you have, um, whether it be the masculine or even just living your, your true soul purpose, right? Because they both go hand in hand. Um, so internally you feel very successful and you're, you're moving forward. So future position is the 11, 11 card calling card so that's twice that this card is pointing to the future all right so much success and fire around this connection like all fire all fire here so oh my god that's awesome and that would be the reason why you're like you know that's it i've i'm releasing it all to spirit do you know what I mean? I'm concentrating on myself now instead of on other people, how they're going to feel. Why aren't they doing this? Why, you know, why can't I have that? It's like, it's completely different focus. You're looking towards the sun, not towards, um, you know, something else, someone else. Okay, your external environment, master. So this is a devil. So you feel this energy of, you know, feeling like your heart is in this cage. Um, you know, and it could be the masculine energy. You feel, you know, and the reason for that detachment, you know, that encagement are, is coming from these two cards. You know, there's a sense of because there's a detachment, a separation in the past, it has caused you a lot of heartbreak. You know, and it, it's because of this indecision. And so you're feeling it and you're releasing it, is what I'm feeling. So this could represent a karmic relationship or it could represent the masculine. 
Um, so let's see what else comes along with that. The Knight of Cups. The Hangman. And the Ace of Cups. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> A little tickle in my throat there. Okay, so very interesting. The Ace of Cups showed up in the Masculine's um, future position. Same, same card, same position. So there is a new start for the both of you. Okay, so the masculine is dealing with his own heart space. He's seeing how maybe he's been manipulated in the past, how he is maybe engaging his own heart in a protective way or seeing how other people have been manipulating him. So he's becoming the master of his own heart. So past position is the Knight of Cups. Um, the masculine got this in his present moment, like he wants to move forward. Okay, so the, um, it's coming in the past. So there's a sense that he's been thinking about moving forward for some time now. But there is this ego that is stopping him. And that did show up in his past internal space, this card. So, you know, he's not dealing with it. It was kind of like looking over his shoulder from the past. You know, there's this feeling of, um, you know, this is, this is ego. This is attachment. This is um, how you view your physical body and your physical world. Are you worthy enough? You know, so there's this analysis, the realization of, you know, of something that is ugly, you know, this chain, um, a karmic partnership, whatever it is, is, you know, you're really looking at the ugliness of it and analyzing it and realizing that true love is surrounding you and it's there for you. Um, I'm getting that tickle again. One moment. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so when my throat goes like that, that means communication is required. Okay, so it, this is really something that you're you know, um, pondering is what I'm thinking, but really it's changing your perspective on a massive scale. This change in perspective was a major energy coming from the masculine reading. So, um, so the masculine moved forward or he desires to move forward, but he is you know, in this state of changing his perspective. This is letting go of control, um, seeing things from a higher perspective from a more enlightened view and it's also sacrifice so he is in a self-sacrifice state really looking and analyzing future position is the ace of cups so brand new start of love again the synchronicity this card showed up in the same position so there's this you both have this this loving vibration that is connecting the two of you together um, and, and and that's what's you know making the masculine see what true love looks like do you know what I mean it's like this love or this love this love is real this love opens me this love expands me okay so um, the outcome for these three cards coming together two of cups so here it's like the masculine comes to you with this jewel in his heart you know um, this is spiritual union the twins um, uniting in the 5t but really this speaks of the deep love uh, that the two share unconditional love and it's the motor that drives this connection okay so the heart space is open and so th through your release you know through you putting down the burden and working on your own life your own ideas being creative it ultimately is leading you towards this twin flame connection the knight of swords the star and the higher print, high priest. Past position, the knight of swords, so this could represent an air sign. This is movement forward. Um, now, 
you have the King of Swords in your past position over here. So it points to a communication, an honest communication. Um, and it may have left you feeling disconnected, but you saw a truth, you saw clarity. Um, and so, you know, this is the champion, the rebel without a cause. He fights for justice and truth, but it is movement forward. So it brought you to this space of healing, and so, you know, you healed from this sense of disconnect, feeling alone. Uh, you saw your own weaknesses, um, and so you're healing that aspect of your heart. So this also represents your wish being granted. So this connection is real and it's being manifested in your, your life. So this offers hope for the future as well, that the worst is over. Future position is the Hierophant or High Priest. So this is a masculine in his 5D, in this, you know, um, spiritual power or strength. It's like he's acquired a lot of wisdom and knowledge and he's sharing that. He's leading others. He's um, shining his light. Um, so you're bringing this, you're manifesting this 5D connection, drawing it towards you. And, you know, it could be an, uh, an air sign or just, you know, speaking your truth is something that needed to be done and as a result it it help it's helping you to heal I, I don't know you just you made a realization and you are healing that part of yourself maybe now okay so summary outcome is the eight of swords helpless and hopeless so summary you feel disconnected um, this is the self-imposed prison you know, there's this feeling of looking outward um, in the past. The present, it is more a looking outward to oneself rather than someone else. So <clears throat> here you see there's somebody looking at the sun as well. Okay, so it's almost like you see the light, but you... You know, you realize that thoughts are just thoughts and, you know, you can release yourself from any negative thoughts just like that. There's, you know, that could be that epiphany, that awareness of how powerful you are to shift your perspective whenever you start to feel yourself slipping back. Okay, so the King of Wands, the Temperance. And the two of pentacles. So, king of wands could represent a fire sign, but I really feel this is you finding your power. Look at all this power and strength, will and determination. You know, there's this masculine, fiery energy in your present moment. Um, the past position, you know, the king of wands is very powerful and a leader, but not quite as much as the, you know, the emperor. This is a higher level of this power. So this is becoming unchained and taking the lead um, and, you know, living your spiritual truth. So, um, you know, if this isn't you, this is the masculine knowing his power. Um, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm really feeling it as a feminine energy. Um, so your present moment is um, the temperance card so this is you being in a, the now um, being in this moment not desiring anything not wanting anything out there so again that that speaks of <clears throat> sorry really changing your perspective and this also represents the ultimate union card right so it's like this realization of it's going to happen when it happens and so um, again, there's no need, there's no wanting, there's just acceptance and bending with the wind, allowing uh, this change to transform your life. The Two of Pentacles is the wind of change. Um, so, you know, that seed taking root and really transforming your environment. 
So patience. Um, final outcome. Shine. Yes. The sun card. Again, confirmation that these, this masculine energy is the feminine embodying that masculine quality within her. See, the, the sun represents masculine energy, you know, shining your light, exerting your strength, your power onto the world. And it's beautiful that this sun card is showing a feminine doing that thing. So it's confirmation that that's exactly what's happening, that you are finding your power, your strength, your groundedness, and detaching yourself, not being manipulated by your heart, not being manipulated by your fears, you know, overcoming those obstacles, those challenges, and letting it go. So you're shining your light, you're stepping into your power, you are it's your turn to shine. This is the most positive card in the deck. And it represents new beginnings and freedom, um, joy, excitement, you know, return to an innocent state. So that is the final outcome. Oh my God, that is so beautiful. Okay, so very nice. That final piece of the puzzle was placed. Seven of Swords, you overcame these feelings of betrayal and said, fuck it. <laughs> Embodied more fire energy. The queen of no fucks given. That's awesome. So past position is the universe card. This is the final piece of the puzzle being placed. This is going through all the stages of awakening. You did it. Congratulations. You are continually being tested and you are continuing to rise above and, you know, make great strides towards being truly, you know, a divine feminine. You know, it's just amazing and you're not realizing it, but it's sending you right into the path of this divine love. So major cycle has been completed. This is 20 years to a lifetime, all right? And so you, uh, abundance is coming towards you and it's because you've overcome your fears, these thoughts, you know, this is a feeling of someone's be betraying you, stabbing you in the back. It's the same exact card, right? You overcame. Again, it's confirmation. You let it go. You put those things behind you and you embody or will embody the queen of wands, the queen of no fucks given, fire, power, passion, right? You know, same idea. Um, so someone who's very charismatic, who speaks her truth, who shines her light. Um, wow. Crazy. Okay, so the energy of the overall reading, opportunity beckons. So this really is speaking to what you don't have. Do you know what I mean? None of these cards are are showing any inkling of that energy if anything you are detaching from this feeling the four of cups is offering someone a cup of love and then turning their back on you so that's a feeling of disconnect but instead of focusing on the negative you transmuted it you changed it you shit you, you set shit on fire really powerful reading for the feminines and because of that you you are drawing this love, the twin flame connection towards you. So this is no longer in your field anymore. This is who you are. Not this, not longing, not wanting, feeling disconnected, feeling like things aren't moving. You are getting in your own boat and you are moving forward, right? And like I said, because of that, it is drawing, it is bringing that love into your life shine your light for sure all right so i'm going to pull one card from miss and mermaids and i will leave that to you for a final message from the universe tale of mossy gold so yeah i think i think that speaks of that idea of self-worth feeling Yeah, okay, well, let's just see what it says. Oh, hold on a moment. Okay. So, six. Oh, open it right to it. 
Okay. Uncapped, unattended, my scales go unmended. The longer I slog through the mire, sullied and tattered, bedraggled and battered, lacking the care I require. A red-headed mermaid blushes with chagrin as she exhibits her tail. Um, once a shiny gold, the tail is now tinged with green swamp moss, visible evidence of personal neglect. Do not forget to take care of yourself. You have been feeling run down lately, and with good reason, as you have not been listening to your body's natural cues. Now is the time to take care of yourself before things get any worse. That's exactly what I was freaking saying. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Um, remember the importance of sleep. Too often we think of sleep as an inconvenience or as an intrusion on our busy lives. Take time to recognize it for what it really is, a wonderful natural way to, to restore your body, mind, and soul. Keep your body clean. You make a point of keeping your outside of your body clean through regular showers and hand washing, but how we treat the inside of our bodies is just as important. An emphasis on, emphasis on whole natural foods can do wonders for your well-being, as can abstaining from dangerous chemicals and potentially harmfully, harmful controlled substances. Finally, do not forget to exercise. Any amount of physical activity is better than none. Even for a few, even a few extra steps per day can be beneficial to your health. That's exactly it. You're sh you shifted your focus away from negativity and to yourself. You detached in this beautiful way. You didn't detach from the masculine. It's not like that. It is a detachment from need. It is a d detachment from thoughts. It's a detachment from the devil. Definitely. Those whispers in your ear. Okay, so do look after yourself. Um, I see how powerful you ladies are, and I'm so proud of you guys. So, sending you lots and lots of love. Peace.